This is an example of convolution given xn with this value. At origin, it is equal to 1 and at n equal to 1, the value is 1. And also hn, where at all value of uh, n 0, 1 and 2, the values are 1. So demonstrate the convolution process yn equal to hn convolution with xn using graphical method. So in this case, we will shift the value of x. So first, we need to fold xn to get x0 minus k. In this case, n is equal to 0. So this is a first step, which is folding. And then, we uh, in a second step, uh, we don't need to shift this one since n is equal to 0. So in the third step, we have to multiply x with h to produce output y n. Okay, in this case, at negative 1, since there's no value at h for n equal to negative 1, then the multiplication is 0. For n equal to 0, we multiply x with h, 1 multiply with 1. So the total value for this convolution is 1. Okay, the next one, we shift signal x, we use n equal to 1, meaning that since this integer is positive 1, so we shift x to the right by 1. Okay, for this value, n equal to 0, we multiply with h value for n equal to 0. So 1 multiply 1 is equal to 1. Plus, for signal at n equal to 1, 1 multiply 1 is equal to 1. So the multiplication values, we sum the multiplication values for n equal to 0 and n equal to 1. So we have 1 plus 1 equal to 2. The next one will shift the signal x to the right. Okay, so now it's n equal to 2. If we compare with the original uh, signal that we fold, it's already moved to the right by 2. Okay, so in this case, since we increase the n 1 by 1 from 0, 1 and 2, so this signal is moved to the right 1 by 1. So now we multiply this x signal with h. At 0, there's no signal for x, so 0 multiplied with 1 is equal to 0. For n equal to 1, 1 multiplied with 1 is equal to 1, plus the convolution for n equal to 2, 1 multiplied 1 is 1. So for this convolution, it produces 1 plus 1, which is equal to 2. Okay, the next one, we shift the signal x by 3 so it shift one more to the right for n equal to 3 okay now we convolute x with h at this one that's 0 we multiply for n equal to 2 1 multiply with 1 which is equal to 1 at 3 1 multiply with 0 which is equal to 0 so for this convolution it produce 1 So alternatively, besides the graphical method, we also can use table method to determine the convolution between two finite sequences. So we use uh, the value of given previously for xn and hn in this table. So on this side, we include the value of hn. Based, uh, given in the question, so for h0, it is equal to 1. For h1, it is also equal to 1 and h2 equal to 1. On the top, we wrote the value of xn signal. So for x0, it is equal to 1. For x1, it is equal to 1. Okay, in the middle, we multiply or we convolute the signal hn and xn for each column and each row. 
So H0 multiply with H0, 1 multiply with 1, 1, 1 multiply with 1, 1. Same goes to this one, 1 multiply with 1, 1, 1 multiply with 1, 1. Same for this row, H2 and X0, 1 multiply with 1 produce 1, 1 multiply with 1 produce 1. Okay, now this is the technique to produce the output response y n we start with y for n equal to zero so we start with this side first to this side okay for n equal to zero okay we just take this value of multiplication of h zero and x zero so y zero is equal to 1. Okay, the next one we increase n by 1 for the output response y1. So we start, we move to the next row. We start from this corner to this corner in the middle and to the end of the corner. This is for y1. y1. Okay. So we, uh, through these dotted lines, we sum this value of multiplication 1 minus 1 which is equal to 2 okay the next one we increase the integer n by 1 so we have y 2 we draw the dotted line from this corner to the middle corner of this one to the end corner of this one so we sum the uh, multiplication that through this dotted line 1 plus 1 which is equal to 2 and the last one we increase n by 1 we have y 3 we use the last uh, part to from this corner to that corner so the multiplication values that goes through the dotted line is 1 this is actually same as the graphical method answer now we can write um, this is at origin okay this is the value at origin h0 x0 so we have summarized the convolution of y n which is h n convoluted with x n we can write in terms of this uh, format 1 2 2 and 1 so we bold and underline this one meaning that this is the value of y n at origin